Hello there. Eleven sixteen horsepower now. We're still losing horsepower. I'm not sure if I've done the oil yet, but I don't think it's gonna be necessary. Hello, hello. Where were we? Can I actually unequip the nos? Yeah you can. Oh, it's normally at 40. Wow. Okay. It doesn't exist anymore, man. That's been gone for many years. does not want to turn at the minute. Might be worth tampering with the setup. I have reset the uh, suspension to default, but would be nice to get a few other things with it running smoothly. Although we are catching the F1s already, so maybe it's not necessary. Let's see what kind of top speed we're going to get to. Easily 250, right? There it is, only just. Car, as usual, is very unsteady. Right. See if we can look into that. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, what did I have before? Four on the bound, five on the rebound. We're on A, right? Mm -mm -mm. Last two races, oh yeah, we out here. I normally prefer that on the stabilizers. Put it back up to 85. Put that down to 12.8, no. 12.2. A little bit more loose. gonna have a weaker initial torque because with the MR I found under acceleration this car just doesn't turn and as there are a few turns where we want to be using it, the accelerator through it give it a try looks like we just pretend third gear doesn't exist.
Feels like it's turning better. Ooh, we don't have brakes. Damn. Ride height in this game is weird because if you go below a certain threshold, you just end up digging into the ground too much and just weird, weird things happen. Hearing's too long. Ride height affects weight transfer, so if it's too low, weight won't transfer properly back while accelerating and braking. We have the legendary legends in chat. The legendary legends. But somehow, even with everything that's gone gone wrong so far, we are we've won hundred percent of the races so far. I don't think this would be possible in a road car though. I believe race cars are required, but I, I don't think I'm going to test it otherwise. It's too, it's too long of a challenge. We're out here for days. So I'm going to just mute that. That feels much better. I'm able to turn under acceleration. Which is a first. We're a lot closer this time around with the gearing. I'm happy with that. Let's go. Let's begin the f well, an ultimate race, and hope for the best. Very bogged down beginning. Nothing out of the ordinary, and then finally the power kicks in, and we are right on them again. We're going to lose them again, inevitably, but we've already seen that we're not going to be that far off of them. Oh, okay. He's all over the road. As we easily go around the outside. And we are going to be completely annihilating the poor F1 there. As we majorly misjudge the braking zones required for this big old behemoth. Already starting to cook the rear tyres a bit as I'm racing too early. Does look like they're a little more evenly... Brake wear is a little more evenly distributed than at El Capitan. Oh, we're gaining. We are gaining. It's 
tad too early on the brakes there, but we are alive. Hello, Echo. Been a minute. And I've not I've not seen that YouTuber before, Make Man. You still playing COD? Oh, that might even be... Yeah, still. Still slightly too late. No, you're not. Good man. Have you finally broken... Broken free? You only play if others are on. Smart move. Playing solo is cause for mental harm these days on that game, unfortunately. Wish I was joking. Still too early on the brakes, but we're within distance to make a move. Though it is a tough race so far. However, we are being held up by Orange. The annoying Orange. Get... Get off of me. Oh, no. Going a little bit wide there. If this were GT7, I'd have a penalty right now. Kinda of sorry to hear that, but at the same time, I'm happy that you're able to not put yourself through that, you know? I've been speaking with a few members of the Discord, and there's potentially going to be more Lethal Company happening again at some point later on this month. Well, actually, sorry, April. It's not even April yet, James. Getting ahead of myself. If that's an annoying Aaron, orange, you're Apple. <laughs> Excuse me. Apple. Hey, Apple. Shut up. Isn't the annoying orange still making YouTube videos? TV show as well. Oh my word. Right, now we've got to somehow hunt down the front runner. Wait, that is a very clean lap. Look at that. Look at that. 126 with no discrepancy at all. It's just a flat 126. Hey Len, we just started, so you've not missed very much. Other than me being called the apple in Annoying Orange. Do I look green to you? Didn't think so. Maybe a bit red, huh? Red? That may be because of the... I've got no stream lighting on right now, and we've of course got the Toyota GT1 right there in its red glory. My monitor is quite bright as well. Oh, we're definitely... Uh, we're... Oh, no, no, no. All right. 
That was just a, a smidgen too late on the brakes. Would have been really nice if I got it right. There's a Super GT. Sorry, no, that's not it. There's a... Uh, Super Formula? A set of Super Formula races in Gran Turismo 7. And Fuji Speedway was easily the worst of the lot to complete. By far. Because no matter how well I was driving, how consistent the lap times were, everything like that, it just still wasn't enough. Still wasn't enough to keep up or catch up to the front runners. And I don't like the Gran Turismo 7 race system, to be honest. The fact that you start 50 odd seconds behind the leader, it's just artificial difficulty. Combined with the fact that they had, they have numerous different drivers that can start in any position, right? And some of them have higher skill and driving ability than others. So if you get a, I believe the world championship is called, the well, world champion is called Igor Fraga. And if he starts up front, you'll never catch him. Because his AI drives really well. This is reasonably evenly matched so far. I mean, it isn't evenly matched, of course, but having to drive pretty well to catch up. Should you get GT Sport or GT7? Hmm. Good question. Depends what console you have. If you have a PS5, it's a no-brainer to get GT7. Because the game is still being updated. I don't think it's as good as the old games, but... It's still a nice driving experience. Those tyres have one, maybe two laps more in them. That's too late. Gran Turismo 7 doesn't require tons of grinding. I've not seen any evidence of this throughout my playtime on it. It's pretty streamlined to be honest. Whenever I needed a quick mill or half a million, I just did the um, licenses, whatever they're called, not the licenses, sorry. The circuit experiences get gold on there, and then boom, load of cash. Perhaps not to beat the campaign, but the moment you want a particular vehicle, right? To be fair, I just do the weekly races, one of the cir circuit experiences, and boom, influx of cash. <laughs>
Oh, I've not seen a single 20 million credits car that I actually want, so that, I guess that's why I'm not relating. <laughs> These tires are lasting longer than I expected. These F1s are still right on my backside. <laughs> Whoa. They're pitting already? Yeah, honestly, if I'm going to recommend any racing games, it would be to play these on an emulator. Emulator, emulator. I think those rears have had it. I only have some water for the sip stop. Yep, yeah, we're pitting. We are pitting. We are 100% pitting. I almost did a stupid. I have no experience with steering wheels on Gran Turismo 4, so I, I can't confirm nor deny. Is it difficult to get steering wheels and pedals set up on emulators, I wonder? I've got to use the full range of gears to get the rear tyres to burn at the same time as the fronts, it seems. Braking too early. We've got better braking zones now because of the front mediums.
Uh, first time chatting here, came across your channel through the challenge videos. Hell yeah. Thank you for coming over. And also thank you for checking out the cha uh, challenge videos. I do appreciate that. It's always great to meet fellow Gran Turismo enjoyers, or the OG Gran Turismo enjoyers, right? I kind of feel sorry for the players experiencing the franchise? No, the game series for the first time with, say, Gran Turismo 7. Not that it's a bad game, it could just be better. But hey. The game is beautiful though. The level of detail, the time and effort put into creating the, the cars, the way they look in real life, the handling models pretty satisfying as well. If you enjoy driving, Gran Turismo 7 is definitely something you should pick up. Logitech always use the boring gear. Gear based force feedback. Oh. Whoops. I find this track very difficult to get the lines right on. At least I'm trying to follow my my line on from GT7. It just does not work here. You don't have the downforce nor the handling the same way we do on GT7. People make their own force feedback wheels. I've seen that people make their own keyboards, but your own steering wheel? Wow. remove the brake yeah not having the brake markers so people just drive straight through straight through the wall what's that i don't need to break off we go yeah distance markers i gotcha i knew what you meant oh <laughs> i absolutely hated this track as a kid this configuration of it anyway because I couldn't do the yeet couldn't yeet across the grass to win when I obviously should have been losing ah oh, we're gonna go off the track again Oh no, guys, we went off the track again. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, the travesty. However, are we going to recover from this? Yeah, if it were GT7, we have an extra 20 seconds added on. That is one thing about GT7 that's kind of annoying sometimes. The penalty system is quite harsh and the AI can cut the corners and stuff like that and not get a penalty. Yet if you follow the exact same line they take, you can get in trouble. Oh, we're going deep again. Dang, I went off track. I hope I don't take four years of time penalty. <laughs> It would it would be it would be a real shame if the game added an extra four years of community service onto my uh, sentence. There we go. I completely forgot English for a moment there. Wait, was that a good lap? That wasn't bad.
crazy KFC. Oh, really? What? Tickling your boss's hand at work is not appropriate. What? Why are they advertising that for KFC? Oh no. Now we're breaking too early. I didn't think adblock worked on Twitch, or is that YouTube these days? 121, finally broken. Oh, that's a bit late, yeah. Some adblockers work, ugh. You guys aren't getting me the 10 cents a year and... Oh, come on. There's a game out there with a worse penalty system than GT7. Really? What's that? iRacing or whatever it's called. Or one of the racing sims. I swear there's like, if you have seven incidents or something like that, you get kicked out of the race. Forza. Oh. Uh, I think we can do one more lap. Maybe even two. If it's front tires that are burnt, we won't lose control. But if it's rear tires, we will. That's what I found. It's a shame that the new Forza was just heavily mediocre. Front's gone, understeer. Rear gone, oversteer hell, yep. What's that? You're on a straight? Ha! You now spin. Why? Just because. What do you mean, just because? It's free real estate. What's that? You don't understand the relevance of that? You're not meant to. There is no relevance. One twenty three. A one twenty three on heavily burnt tires is fine. Oh, braking zones, however. Yeah, Keck W is a custom emote. Unless you have the emote plugin installed to your browser. I believe you can get them for your phone. I'm not entirely sure though. You won't be able to see the emotes, so it'll just look really weird. It's 
So 7TV is one of the applications. FFZ is Franka's face. And then I don't know what the Z is. Emotes, I guess. BTTV is better twitch.tv. Can I just send it? Pretty much. Sip stop. <laughs> this race is going quick. It's just funny to quote every time at this point, to be honest. Those reflections are uh, definitely a sign of the time that they were released on in above, below. Wait, am I being caught now? Huh? Surely he, he's hitting next lap, right? When we're not being caught up that quick, though. I have never played Juiced. It's good to see you, though, McEwen. It has been... Uh, some amount of time. I remember seeing the advertisements for it though. I, I think I've said this before on stream, but the advertisements for Juiced were amazing. But around the time the game came out, I had a PS2 and a laptop. I didn't get into PlayStation 3 until whenever Lizard Squad or whatever it was were hitting PlayStation Network offline over and over again. Or Anonymous, whoever the hell it was. 2011? And then I didn't get an Xbox 360 until 2013. Oh, it was on PlayStation 2. Oh, I don't even know then. I was just happily playing Gran Turismo. The Gran Turismo series at that point. And loads of other games. Tomb Raider Legend. Seek and destroy a little tank game. Beyond good and evil. What else did I have in PS2? Uh, San Andreas until I got... Like, my parents found out I was playing it and banned me from it. We also had... Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, which I absolutely loved. Rayman 3, although I couldn't beat the final boss. Skill issue. Completed all of the game apart from the final boss. You never touched them. Oh yeah, and of course the Need for Speed games. I started with Carbon. Then played Most Wanted. Then tried Underground 1. Didn't really like it that much. Underground 2 I vibed with. I was more of a free roam kind of guy. Pro Street was decent. I really enjoyed the speed races on that. Even though the car physics were horrendous. You just get this sudden instability. And then your car would just go flying and boom totaled. I've always been someone to appreciate games of all ages, you know? There might be a new game out, but I'll be playing a PS1 game. Because I still haven't completed it yet, you know? I think it's the best way to be. Instead of just being glued to the latest releases like the zombies of COD are. Mind-controlled zombie... Orgs. <laughs>
hey, it's not necessarily a bad thing that you have a car with no license. It, it just means you're half prepared. There are some people out there with a license that don't have a car, so you're just on the flip side of it. Arguably, you've done the hardest part first. burning these front tires this this stint unfortunately oh hello accidental new lap record ooh i've spotted my first victim of the race you are about to get lapped my friend <laughs> oh no. Get him. Why are the fronts burning so much quicker? We, we literally have the rears being toasted by the gears and the fronts are like, guess I'll die. Oh, breaking a 120. I'll take it. Fronts usually get toasty from either understeer or braking while turning. Well, we all know I like to brake while turning, so. There he is. There's the culprit. Where are these lap records coming from? Uh, well, you see, James, when you go around the track faster than you ever have before. There's this thing that pops up on your screen called best lap. And then that is then applied to the most recent and overall rules the most recent best lap. Oh. So you mean if I go around the track faster than I ever have before, that then appears in the best lap section? Yes, that would appear to be so. The revelation. We, we've cracked the code, ladies and gentlemen. We are finding out some troublesome details. What are you doing? Brother! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go deep because he was gonna knock me off. 
I knew it was going to happen. Little bro trying to ca catch the sip stream. I was like, give me a drink. The drink looks nice. Ooh. <laughs> oh, turn, 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 turn. Second gear unlocked. Oversteer required to get round corners. Oh my word. I'm doing one more lap. You can't stop me. Oh. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. But I'm doing it. I've done it now. What are you going to do? Black flag me? I ain't stopping. You don't have any black flags here. There are no flags here. I just go. Penalty system doesn't exist. Well, technically wrong, but in this instance, there is no penalty system for the race. Turn! Turn! Oh my god, we're driving a brick. It won't turn around the corner of the brick. Breaking earlier than I've ever braked before. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is atrocious. This is absolutely atrocious. Whoa. Well. We well and truly, well and truly used those front tires. <sighs> Good to see you, James. Yeah, I, uh, I'm about to get in trouble with the FIA for the abuse of front tires, honestly. Whoops. Good thing you don't need to produce tire data for the stewards. <laughs> so, missed the gaming definition. We've seen the tire data, and apparently, you like to roast your tires worse than marshmallows. I'm sorry, you like to roast your tires like marshmallows. Uh. Abu Dhabi 2021. Hehehe, <laughs> bye. If not marshmallow, why marshmallow shaped? That's what I'm saying. Ooh. 
Let me lock them doors and turn them lights down low. Oh god. At least you're not a, an AI driving the stock XJR. I used that to win the El Capitan endurance race once as a kid. Really liked it. XJR, XKR. One of them. Oh, 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 ah. Oh. Boo. That's it, XKR, yeah. And we got the XJR15, don't we? Or from Gran Turismo 2, at least. Very, very underappreciated piece of machinery. I kind of want to make a video covering all of my favorite cars from each Gran Turismo game. And somehow find a challenge for, for all of them to complete so they get plenty of screen time. Coming up with challenges, unique challenges and entertaining ones is proving rather difficult at the minute. Gotta get those creative juices flowing. I like apple juice. Because I'm apparently the, the apple from Annoying Orange. Isn't that self-cannibalism? <laughs> oh no, what have I done? No, turn, 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 I'm just saying F the tires, we're going for the 119. That was a slow lap, oh dear. So we're going full out aggressive and we're slower. Sports truck, yeah. So far, I'm having troubles with the Boxer Spirit races. But I might do a German car-only challenge and pretend that the sports truck races don't exist. Or at least it, they're not technically cars, so... Then again, I don't actually know the definition of cars, so... So can we use the technicality basis on that? And then I'd probably use the... Oh no! I'd probably use the CLK touring car. to try and win the GT World Championship if possible. 
Which I imagine it would be. Because it handles really well. But Mercedes have a mid-rear. They have FF. They have FR. Four-wheel drive. We go to Aldi. Or even Volkswagen. They've got convertibles. It's a shame there are no four-wheel drive convertible cars in this game, though. There should be. They're not. All mid-engine. See now, the problem is, is that you can't beat Gran Turismo 4 with just a single drivetrain because you have the FR, FF, four-wheel drive, and MR challenges all being a thing. while ago to beat this game with the darkest darkest cars possible oh oh duh i've got a challenge I've got a challenge that I completely forgot about. I've got some research to do after the stream. Ah, oh, then the sports truck races ruin it again. Then again, if we use the loophole, that is saying that sports trucks aren't cars, we can still get away with it. What about... It might have to be... Yeah, again, I'll have to do some digging on what classical cars there are and whatnot. Oh yeah, there is one, yeah, duh. Right, what my... Oh god, I've seen my tires. Bang. <laughs> right, so what I was thinking, right, is to use cars, only cars from, what, like the 70s and below? So an entirely classical car run. Because there's the, the Carmen Gear, or whatever it's called, however you pronounce it, which is 1954, if I remember correctly, which can do the Boxer Spirit races. Although I don't know if it can win them, but... Fully tuned up. Can you beat Gran Turismo 4 with classic cars or historic cars only? Yeah. We might be starting that when I get back from my upcoming uh, week away. See my grand, my grandparents, or sorry, grandma and friends and family. 
Off to see Nanny TGD. I get that it might be a pain, but is it possible to beat it in the Carmen? Because I've already used a, a severely underpowered legacy wagon. No upgrades on it at all, I, if I remember. Oh no, I had the nitro to, to win it. It's rear rear. You can't swing it around corner. Really? I'll find a way. If I can use every single upgrade in the game, I'll figure it out, mate. I'll do it. Just you watch. I shall perform things which aren't possible. <laughs> I will make a deal with the, the god of Gran Turismo 4. We have an agreement. No, nah, but seriously, I'll give it a shot, see what happens. Oh no, we're going into the wall. Handbrake is your ally. See, despite being RR, the Carmen gear is front heavy. <laughs> we'll need some ballast on the rear to balance that out then, I guess. So, challenge rules are going to be use a car that is at least 30 years old from when this game released. So anything from what, 1974 downwards is acceptable. In today's challenge, blah 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 blah. We will have a dilemma to overcome with the sports truck races, but oh, if we use one of the mods, we can use the little Daihatsu midget, right? Only thing I'm worried about is the drivetrain races. Right now. And the supercar festival. Are we going to be able to soup up a car enough? A, a stock road, sorry. Are we going to be able to soup up a road car enough to make the, was it 590? 490? Oh yeah, of course, it'll be American Muscle, won't it? Duh. It's alright, brain was a bit slow for a moment. And if I can beat the supercar races in a bloody Dodge Ram, of all things, then we're going to have no problem. In a muscle car. Because they don't handle too badly in this game. With upgrades. Plymouth Superbird was pretty good.
And yeah, the Cobra exists as well. Okay, so there's an AC Cobra from the British manufacturers and also the Shelby Cobra. Are there any differences between the two? I'd assume the British version to be lighter, right? Let's take a look at the statistics. Yeah, I'll have a coffee, please, if you don't mind. No sugars. Reasonable m amount of milk, please. Shelby Cobra is lighter with weight reduction. Oh. Yes, I add milk to my coffee. I do be doing that. Oh, thank you very much. Whoops. <laughs> the Shelby Shelby Cobra only exists because of the ace. Oh, I see, right. Nice bit of background information. Uh, try it again. Nice bit of background information right there. Never knew about that. I just I saw AC cars. I was like, what's this about? I just never looked any deeper than that. But I'm pretty sure it's only the Japanese versions of this game that come with the informational booklets and whatnot. Or information dumps on cars and other stuff like that. Similar to what Gran Turismo 2 did. Where you could just look up the story behind each vehicle. Or specific ones anyway. This is one hell of a slow lap time. That's going to be like a 123 and a half. 124. Yikes. Can't keep it out of the grass. I'm on the accelerator too early. You've been demoted to the phone. Can't burn those rears quick enough.
They didn't have coffee, so I brought you some Doritos. <laughs> ah, much appreciated. Still need to make a tool to compare cars in this game. That would be really cool. Oh yeah, still potato. Yep. Yeah, we spoke about this a few months ago. So you have a car, right? But you haven't upgraded your PC. You have a car that you can't even technically drive on the road yet, but you're still on that on that old gaming PC. That's amazing. Priorities. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty two laps to go, and we are out of here. So another oh, twenty five minutes. Not too bad. Oh, that's way too early. Well, that happened. Rip. Let's go exploring. Never mind. Worth a try. Breaking zones have improved too much. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah. I love animals. Cats especially. Because if, you, if you're good to them, generally they're good to you. Sometimes they're just afraid of people, but... Smart move, really. There's a lot of horrible people out there. I've heard of coming out of the closet, but not coming off of the top of the closet. That's a new one. That's too late. Oh, lovely. I think we've only been past them once. Oh man. I just can't get that 119. Seems we're getting the other sectors right, but we lost a lot of time at that at the first corner last time. Man. Going very wide. I'm working on lapping them again though.
got a blue keyboard as well. Blue shirt as well, the other stream. Thanks for reminding me, I've actually left a Amazon package downstairs. With some more clothes of all sorts of different colours. A nice variety. Nah, definitely not an unboxing. Not for clothes. Hello, Wugty. Yeah, I love cars. I've, I've only got a Voxel Astra. Which will be, is it Holden? Or Opal? Where you're from? I'm not entirely sure which dealer it is for you guys. But I'm looking to get into, or sorry, get a TVR at some point. Cerber, a Speed 6, if I can, sorry, a Speed 6, if I can get around to that. It's Cerber, a Speed 6, isn't it? Most of my money has gone on PC parts and other unforeseen circumstances over the years, so... A nice car, nicer car, sorry. Hasn't really been on the cards. We'll get there though. It's gonna happen. Imagine having several expensive hobbies, right? It's the, it's the struggle. Some people are into Sports like football, basketball, a bit of tennis. And here I am enjoying gaming and cars. PC gaming, that is. But yeah, Wagti, honestly, I'm glad to see you moving away from the games which are just causing you stress because I, I entirely relate to that, my own experience. The FPS genre has had its time and now it's it's about time something else got the spotlight and had the chance to shine. Hooray. We doing poetry. Ten years. I still couldn't believe you were playing Rust for that long, you know? I've never been a big fan of those that, that style of game. You build something up and then everything just gets wiped. 
Especially if, as it can just happen when you're offline. I'd be one of them boomers that complains about their base getting raided when they're not there. The GT is winning by a very large margin, absolutely. Oh no. We've not dropped a race yet, so far. With 13 previous races. This being the 14th. One more to go, if we can keep the 100% streak, that'd be great. But we went in with... Uh, even with some engine deterioration from mileage and we of course have rigidity wear but I've learned to drive it the way it is Might be able to get <laughs> we might be able to go double mediums for the finish we definitely won't need to refuel can't say I'm experienced with cars enough to give any advice on anything other than rev match when you downshift and uh, don't do dry steering because that's how things get embedded in your tyres and there's the 119 all we needed was a bit of slipstream and toe. I'm not very good at it. I don't do it right. It's funny. When we first started this race, it was difficult to keep up with the F1s around here. Now we're just flying.
One thing I am having though, that I don't think I've had before, is that under acceleration, hard acceleration, my car is pulling slightly to the left. Now I've had new tires applied recently. I don't remember that happening before, so I assume something's going on there. It's not brake related. It seems like the wheel well, well, the wheel alignment was done as well. So just gonna get that in before the tires get shredded. Another 119? Damn. Couldn't break it before, and now we've done it twice back to back. Steering wheel might not be centered. Problem is, right? Is that I'll do an overtake, I'll move out to the right, I'll start accelerating, and then it will start pulling to the left. So I'll be driving straight, but under the heavy acceleration, that's when it will start pulling to the left a bit. Doesn't always happen either. And I know that front wheel drives understeer under heavy acceleration and all that. So I've had that a few times before, but this is different. <laughs> it's never been. Uh... And these are fresh tyres as well. Had them on for about two weeks. Driven under 500 miles with them. Back into the 120 range. Nice weather. It's ten past four though. Ten four on that. I'm going to do one more lap because I'm going to finish the race on softs. And we may or may not have a repeat performance of Delasaf. But we've got two laps ahead of them this time, so... Actually steering too much for a bit there. Right, 
Right. Can we get a 118? Because this track is mostly about speed, but yeah. Oh my word, that handling. That's so nice. Here we go. Gonna run into traffic though, unfortunately, but. Look at that braking zone. The way he just cut in front of me there. Second gear isn't viable still. One eighteen seven, I reckon. Not far off. Those tyres are going to be struggling this lap. There's the 117 just. Final lap. Hey, because...
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Fuji Speedway Grand Prix coming to a close. Finishing out with another 117. Not faster than the last lap, but yeah. So two laps ahead of the F1s there. Not bad. Not bad at all. Is it going to show it or are they not going to arrive at the line in time? Yeah, not arriving. One more race to go. Can we win every single race in the championship so far? Look at that. Almost a, almost a 100 point lead. Almost a 100 point lead. Absolutely mad. One more race to go. Yeah, we're going to save this. Uh, why not? Would be good for any of the flybys and whatnot. Be very careful with the save states. Uh, and go ahead with uh, Suzuka. <laughs> Suzuka. No. No. Right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna pop to Lou, get some more drink. Oh, okay then. Suzuka. 53 laps of Suzuka. I have concerns. I have grave concerns. <laughs> oh, okay. Are these the hard tiles? Surely these aren't the hard tyres. This is medium front, hard rear, right? Spooned.
His rear tires are struggling. Survived. Half a second behind. Oh, we're never normally behind the AI on qualifying. So, we are using the wrong gearing, though. Right, well, we did say we wouldn't be qualifying, so just testing. Oh, oh, okay. That, that was handling really well. That didn't feel like hard tires. A thousand and sixty two horsepower. We've lost so much. Right, I'm going to go change the oil. <laughs> oh, my God. Losing a flat out 60 horsepower is crazy. Fuji ruined us. Completely ruined. Right, right, so 1062. What we were on before. There we go, that's more like it. We still lost a little bit though. Right, so we go to default gearing. That looks good enough. Put that up again. You know what? We're going up to 50. I need the rear tires to burn. Because otherwise, the fronts are going to be too good again. It's a common accepted head cannon that the GT Auto mechanic drinks the used oil. Not sure how he gets the new oil in though. He's actually a oil replenishment system machine thing. Cyborg sent from the future. So he drinks the bad oil and produces good new oil. That he sends over telepathically and it somehow ends up in the engine. Don't ask me how. It teleports in there. Whoa. Bluetooth oil change. Your Bluetooth device has been connected. Oil dialysis. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. Right, can we go flat out at 130R? No. <laughs> Speed down. Huh? I've never read that before.
bit slow. Two seconds, right, we're going into the race. It begins. The final race of the championship. Without any further ado, let's go. See an opportunity for a lunge up the inside. I'm getting pushed. Hands pushing me. Another op opportunity presents itself along the long left hander. As we take to the outside, just making it. Have to be on the brakes a little bit harder than the F1s as the orange is very slow. We are now getting pushed off the track again. No, he's gone. Try and take a wider line than the F1s here. Let's get a nice run onto this long approach to Spoon. We get nudged a little bit by Banana Car. Should be able to go up the inside. No, no, he's closing me off. The outside we go. Getting nudged again. Now the approach to 130R. We are coming into second position. The leader is starting to gap us a little bit though. That is a, a, a tad concerning. Oh, slightly cutting 130R. Rip tires. Somebody's nudging me off the track. We're going to have to brake late. As a consequence, yeah, they are right on me. As one lap one is coming to a close. Now we have the straight line advantage. Let's put down all 1100 horsepower. The crazy part about this is we've had some engine wear. So we're losing probably best part of 100 horsepower from the engine. Yet here we are still just blasting away from the F1 competition. They may be about 400, 500 kilograms lighter, but we have the engine of a god under this bonnet. Not really finding an opportunity to get past right now. Not a clean opportunity as the F1 goes and does a little bit of rally raiding. As we mentioned in previous videos and streams and races that's probably not a good idea in an F1 that's not quite what where you want to be taking that sort of car ooh as the downforce almost sends me into oblivion yes that kind of oblivion we'd end up with a skyrim intro wait you're finally awake after that sort of accident ooh yeah, I'm not sending that. Waiting for a better opportunity. We do have the start finish line coming up as the F1 is very early on the brakes. Actually battling me. Playing a bit of destruction derby right now. Although in a little flimsy go-kart, glorified go-kart like that, I'd be very careful who you're ramming into. And that is the site of first position. But the race isn't over yet. We've still got 50 odd, ra 50 odd laps to go. And they are very much making it clear they are right behind me. Getting pushed wide. However, look at that power difference. Giving me a nudge again, but we might just be in the clear now. Another straight coming up. We're going very wide into the hairpin. A little bit of wheel spin, trying to get the power down. Front tires are cooking 
a tad faster than the rears. We'll have to adjust the gearing for the gear choice accordingly. No, second is not usable there. As we should now have a one and a half second gap to second place. That's opening up nicely. Two seconds, in, in fact. It's pretty good so far, but we do still have hits to worry about, and also the fact that I have an affinity for going to Tatooine here and there, here, there, and everywhere. As we set a slightly faster lap, 145. Nothing other than that, just five. The gap is going to be closed down again. And reopened around this lovely, nice, easy, breezy left-hander. Using the wrong gear again, but not making that much of a difference. Not making the same mistake twice. Yeah, those front tires are definitely going to be gone. But I think we'll be able to use the rear... The power on the rear to get around corners. They're probably going to pit in every six laps or so. Maybe seven. But it looks like we're going to be every six. As we drop another lap record, slowly trimming the time down. F1 is still right behind me, though. We've got to find time somewhere. Around here would be preferable. Easier said than done, though, I must say. Could have gone a lot worse. Another second. Well, that is what we were looking for. As we've made it to lap six. Yeah, I reckon at the end of this lap, we'd have to go in. Another lap might be suicide, but... I guess we do have... A long enough of a race to experiment with the tire life a little bit. Oh, as I completely la complete lack of attention to what I'm doing. Ruins us a bit. There goes the nice lead we built. Some of it at least. Yeah, they're already on me. We 
Looks like we get at least seven laps out of the rears. Maybe even eight. They're still chilling on yellow. So it might be worth going over to the hards. They should be pitting next lap, but they're definitely doing longer stints than we are. So, oh, somebody's gone off. Don't know how, but the green F1 was struggling there. Catch in the green. 23 second gap between us and the leader. Yeah, front tyres are cooking slower. As to be expected, but it is what it is. Oh no, they're not pitting in this lap. Not gained any time. Situation's not looking ideal. We do still have Nitro to use, but... I don't know. But neat. Looks like you made a mistake there. Oh, somebody did make a mistake. Still within the one tw uh, 22 second range. We are rapidly gaining on them. Clean. Need to improve the driving around Spoon Corner, I must say. Very suboptimal. We've knocked off another further two seconds here. They are on old tyres, though, we've got to keep that in mind. They should all be going in now, as they do. We'll happily reclaim first position of a 144 lap time, or 145 in fact. I reckon that's still a good enough time to win. Because it seems the AI are doing 141s around here. They just catch us so much around this section. really is all about keeping it completely clean and using all the power that is available to us. I'm going to try fourth gear out of here. No. 
Mm, it's too bogged down. We won't do that again. Conserves the tires, sure, but we are not going anywhere fast. We can do fourth here. Yeah, fourth around here is fine. Still can be quicker out of there. 7.7 7 second gap to the leader. Oh, sorry. Second place. 142. Need to sort that out. <laughs> being caught. Not yet, anyway. Somehow keeping it together. Slight mistake there. Had to lift off for a bit longer than I'd otherwise planned to. Nine point five second lead. It's only the tenth lap, so it's natural that we're figuring out as we go on. If we break a, if we're below a 122 here, we're on for a reasonable lap time. All right, so it looks like it's going to be a 141. Breaking way too early there. Allows me to keep it neat and get on the accelerator a bit earlier onto the home straight. So could be worse. Just shy of a 141, so yeah, we're still going to be quicker than the F1s right now. It'd be a 10 second lead now. Yep. It will take a 10 for two. Well, a 10th. They all went into the pits. And I reclaimed my positions. Ooh. Not ideal. Oh, turning in a bit too early there. We didn't die though, so <laughs> that could have gone very wrong. Rear tires are going yellow already. Another 141. Snoozing through there for some reason. I 
Now you're having internet struggles. You're gradually being caught now. Need to figure that out. Is there? Where? Oh, as we're late on the brakes. Very easy to do. Still at 141, so we're only going to be caught a tiny bit. squeeze out one more lap. Looks possible. Still drivable in the orange, it's just when the moment they dip into the red, we start sliding everywhere. Starting to get into the groove. Still too slow there. Yep, another lap is definitely possible. But I do see the rear left starting to gain a somewhat orange appearance. Yep, rear left is going to be the one to go. AI is gaining on me rapidly through the curves. Just watching the the gap closing is terrifying. Rear left is going very dark orange right now. Well, hey, pot noodle. <laughs> yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. How about yourself? Yeah, as it stands, with pitting every seven laps will work for us because the tire life will take us the lap fifty four. So not crazy inefficient. Don't want 
get pushed off here. He's after me. They're very wide. Rip. Leave you no space whatsoever. Their tire life around here is incredible. Boy. Pushed wide. Definitely gonna have a better time without this guy on my ass. Right, they're pitting in finally. Yeah, one forty one, no wonder we were struggling. Ten point five. So they piss in every eight laps, we do every seven or so. is concerning. So I need about a 30 second gap to the AI in order to get a free pit stop.
been in second there. Almost breaking a 139. We are slowly but surely getting away from the AI. The tyres are getting away from us as well, as a consequence of that. Fourteen seconds. Still squeeze a tiny bit more out of that. As we break a one thirty eight seven eight seven, what? We almost beat my mediums record. We were steaming round that lap. breaks there. There's a cone. 16 second distance. There's a new lap record, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing it. I don't know where this time has come from. <laughs> Pushing a bit too hard. We don't need to do it. He's cheating. Do 
we have another lap in us? That rear left is gone again. faith back down to the 140 again you have to be a bit lighter this lap And we previously have been. All the lap records you try for always seem to appear with toasted rubber. <laughs> it's because the moment I stop thinking about it, it happens. When I get in the flow state and just drive, instead of overthinking anything or perceiving what I'm doing, it just, we drive, you know? I mean, it hasn't been easy so far. It's been far from easy. The level I've been having to drive at. <clears throat> to keep them just at bay, but they keep shooting past me every every pit stop so far. Although if we keep dropping 138s, we're going to be chilling. Green, greeny, yellow. Take it easy. Gets the faster. Yeah. But you know when I'm quiet. I'm focused. Because I pretty much forget that... Forget that um, chat even exists for a moment. Just me and the car and the track. Didn't get sent to the Shadow Realm. Or oblivion or into another universe, fortunately. Caught them by two seconds already.
colossal mistake from the annoying orange. I might be able to get him on this straight. I say straight on the curve. This is going to be so risky. <laughs> oh, we're going wide though. I'm glad we did. We'd have been sent out of... Out into Tatooine if we got hit by him there. Yeah, I'm very much not a lap ahead, my friend. We're struggling. Even with that big mistake, it's still a 141. That's what we were doing naturally before, without mistakes. Wow. Slow driving, though. Come on, James. Lock in. Forty-two minutes, and we're not even halfway yet. Almost halfway. Oh, James. Maybe not that quick. That's traction control, you're seeing. 142, crikey. Sort it out. What is going on? Ended badly. A sub one forty lap with how horrible that was is going is surprising. And the weather's horrible now. I no longer feel bad about being indoors.
We were way too close to the grass there. Come on. Another sub 140. It's it, it's acceptable. be able to survive this lap. The rear is sliding out a little bit. It should help us get around this section. Yeah, we're starting to slip out of the back end big time. You can feel it. You can visually see it as well.
Here we go again. Likelihood is we'll end up battling with second place after the pit stop. Not immediately, but after a lap or two. We no longer go down to third anymore. That is progress. Catching. Yes, we are. And he's in the pits, right? No, no, no. Looked like it for a moment. Still catching him. That's on tires that aren't even warm yet. That shows how much we've improved around here. Didn't slide out there, surprisingly. Closing the gap. Get out of the way, brother. Yeah. One thirty-nine. Where did I find the time for the one thirty-eight then? Just keeping it out of the sand. Pretty much on the limit there. Oh, 
Oh, wow. I ever so slightly nudged the steering and then we almost span off there. Another 139 though, we're, we're all right. Hey Loki, trying to take him to Gapple Bees, but we spent the majority of the race with a massive back and forth. It was really looking like we were going to lose this. It's still possible to lose as well. We have just earned a free pit stop without them overtaking, so... That is something. That's a bit frustrating. Four, 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 seven. <laughs> Gin players, eh?
Found some pace there. Woo! New lap record, yeah. Makes sense. Once again, on burnt tires. <laughs> Are we sure yellow isn't the optimal tire color? Because it feels like it. I think my phone keeps going off and lighting up, but every time I look, it's dark, so I don't know what's going on. But at the moment I go to look, it turns off, or I'm just hallucinating. According to a forum post, 2005. Yellow's burst. That's what lines up with my experience. Car wants to spin. Yep, we come out ahead. right on me. Oh, he makes a mistake. No complaints from me.
14 laps to go. You know what it might be? As the tyres start to wear on yellow, it might be that the torque steer is helping me get around because the rears aren't as grippy anymore. May well play a part in it. In they go. Yeah, I like a bit of oversteer, to be fair. Especially with four-wheel drive. I normally use it to my advantage.
38, I'll take it. We might actually lap someone. Yeah, I don't foresee a strategy change for the rest of the race, but we won't have to fuel up anymore. So we're going to have a lighter car. doing well thank you i've had a lovely stream so far great turnout as well i really do appreciate everyone being here hope everyone's not feeling too ill from stuffing their faces with easter eggs or just chocolate in general Yeah. Yeah, you don't you don't completely come to a standstill. It's like a fifty miles per hour limiter. But considering after every stint we're left at forty four fuel out of eighty, we will definitely finish the race with enough fuel. Hundred percent. Reason being, because we'll have enough fuel for about 14 and a half laps. Maybe even 15. And we're going to be doing about 13 between these two stints. This is on a PC emulator. If you do exclamation mark patch, you can see everything I'm running in a Google document, links to it and everything like that. Pitting in. Not. Well. End of next lap.
we want to be safe, we can pit in at the end of this lap. Which we will do, looking at the tyres. Very toasty tyres. Oh, I didn't want to refuel. Yep, still 44. We're going to be fine. No, I've not tried this game with a steering wheel. I have played some racing games with a steering wheel before and accelerator and whatnot, but... I've not gotten one set up on PC before. And I'm notorious for taking months to get things set up when I get them. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hello, killer. Oh, Jesus. There's that understeer. Oh no, come on. Why have we got a 30 odd second lead? Because he's throwing it now. Oh wait, no, I don't think they're pitting anymore. That might be it till the end of the race. I've got to keep it together. Fuck off. I definitely feel like yellow tires grip better than green.
Wait, what the hell? He was right behind me and then just vanished. That's GG then. Started pushing harder for no reason. <laughs> If only they could, huh? Even then they wouldn't be able to get to the end of the race, I don't reckon. Welcome back, Glenn. Too deep. Well, pretty sure this has been a harder, harder race than Motegi was. So it seems the Japanese Grand Prix were both the two most difficult races for us to face in this championship. Motegi, probably the hardest of the championship. What's up with GT5?
We didn't need to, we could have stinted out to the end, but maintained the uh, 30 odd second lead, but I want a 136. Hey, Toaster. Right, can we survive flat out? Oh, God. Not quite, but close to. Just a little bit too stiff. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The final lap of the Formula One Championship in the Toyota GT1. Every single race, first place so far. Just gotta bring it home. Can we get the 136? It's all built up to this. Here we go. Forty one second sector. By far the fastest we've ever been through there. out of the sand. Hundred and ninety miles per hour almost. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the championship with an easy <laughs> clean sweep of every single race with a one thirty four finish. 136 who? 136 who? <laughs> Give me the 134. There it is. Toyota GT1. What a beautiful piece of machinery. Let's see the 150. Let me see the 150. There it is. Finishing almost 100 points ahead of the nearest contender. <laughs> that is... That is beautiful. <laughs> Let me get a screenshot of that real quick. Oh yeah. Very, very nice. Woo. Yeah, with a controller as well, of course. Of course. You'll never see the 136 because it doesn't exist. Three million credits. Hello. That's going straight in my bank account. If only it was going in my bank account in real life, that'd be nice. Well, that's that's been one hell of a challenge to complete, but we did it. We did the thing. What car did we win out of that? What do we get? Give me the car. Ladies and gentlemen, from the F1 Championship, we get a Sauber Mercedes C9 race car. 
Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Gorgeous machine. Look at that. Look at that. Clean sweep. Not even in an F1 car. Oh my word. If childhood me was ever told this would happen and be possible, I'd have been like, you're a liar. I would not have believed that. Because I couldn't have done it back then. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Holy. It's been fun, though. It's been a lot of fun, but it's it's been very, very challenging. Very much. Very muchly the focus required. Oh, yes. It's Alba Mercedes with the 940 brake horsepower. 127 when we, when we click on it. It's lying. It is lying. How about 24 hours of no brain? <laughs> Maybe another time. If we're going to do it, we will schedule it in advance. It will be an event that I'll advertise on YouTube and everything. Uh... If we, when we hit 80,000 subs, we'll talk about it then. Or over on YouTube, that is, of course. I'm not expecting 80,000 subs on the Twitch channel. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it then. But my word. Yeah, 987 horsepower. How fast can you get this then? Where's, where's Germany? I'm curious. Normally you can add a stage four turbo to every single... Damn, okay. What are the specs like compared to the uh, GT1? I can't see them. 900 kilograms. Of a V8. Just shy of 900 kilo kilograms with a V8, but higher displacement. Interesting. Very interesting. Ooh. <laughs> But yeah, I, I do plan to edit this all into its own dedicated video. It's going to take a while to do, though. This is a lot of footage, and I'm still scripting or figuring out the video style slash format I want to go with. It's going to be quite different to any of the previous challenges. But there is go I'm going to take some of the previous things, format things that I've done before, and I'm just going to keep trying to improve upon that format and figure out new formats, different things, different styles of content, as I'd like to keep it fresh and open as many avenues as possible. But no, thank you all very, very much for joining me on this journey. It's been crazy difficult. I've had to focus hella hard and we've had some fantastic conversations throughout the course of it. And yeah, we've answered the question, can you beat Gran Turismo 4's F1 Championship without using an F1 car? Yes, you can. What a lovely car to do it in as well. Although, I feel sorry for the car. It has absolutely decimated the rigidity of the body. And we're losing power from the car because of the mileage, but yeah. Oh, you finally played Baldur's Gate, Midas. What, the new one? Because it's fantastic. It is absolutely amazing. And if... Uh, if you'd like somebody to play play it with, I mean, I'm not saying that I'm not interested, but I might be saying that I am interested in joining for a little bit of Baldur's Gate 3 because it's fantastic, but hey, hey, hint, hint. Your brother shared it with you. Hey, listen. Listen, I definitely experienced it for yourself the first time around, but if you want to do a second playthrough, let me know. Let me know. It actually does. Yeah, yeah, you actually lose a little bit of engine power after about 5,000 miles or kilometers. Jesus. <laughs> we got there eventually. Artin, I appreciate the 10. Good to see you, mate. I hope you're doing well. It did save, didn't it? Yes, it has saved. Lovely. Head glitch. Oh my God. We have, we have done it all. It's all done. We're done, man. Teach more of the combat. It, I haven't played it in about half a year, but I'd be down for that. I would recommend you guys play it together or on your own or whatever to experience the game in full. 
Because the cutscenes, the story and everything, you're just going to get dragged into it. <laughs> oh, but yeah, no, that, that pretty much brings the stream to a close, unfortunately. Uh, should we do a vic- Actually, let's do a victory lap in this album. We have won it. We have won it. And you guys know where we're going to go. You already know, don't you? You know exactly where I'm taking it. I'm going to get a save state because I'm not going to have any mileage on the car. We'll do one lap in this bad boy, and then we will call it an evening. Let's have a look at everything. Lovely, lovely. Same downforce values. Crank that up a little bit. That's oh, that's a. Uh, it's only five gears. Ugh. Going to raise the ride height to about eighty-five. We're going to lower the suspension to about 11. And uh, stabilizers down a bit. 6.6 six and 5.5. Five. That's my usual go to. And let's go do a victory lap. And get out of here. Oh. Whoa, this is fast. What the hell? Thing is rapid. What the hell? Yeah, GT four doesn't. The car sounds here aren't good enough, are they? Hello, wall. Ah, uh, yeah, CLR. The Salbo Mercedes was fine. Look at this slow driver. Bye. Car's hella grippy as well. A 105. It's alright. It's nothing special. It is absolutely nothing special, but it's not terrible either. Right, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for watching. If you guys would like to sub to the channel to see more of this style of content, except in highly edited video form, feel free to go and sub to the YouTube channel. Join the Discord to stay up to date with the community, and let's see if there's anybody to raid. If not, then just follow the links I posted, I guess. We have a few people streaming, not crazy amount at the minute. Du -du 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 -du. Yeah, there's not really anybody on. Right, in that case, have yourselves a lovely rest of your Easter weekend. I do appreciate you all being here for this championship challenge. It's been a lot of fun. You take care of yourselves. I appreciate you all once again. We did it. We did it. See you later, guys.